some people are saying that uh, they're picking on Karsten's inventiveness. Other people are saying that it really is changing the game. Uh, what, what's your view on the, uh, the changing of the grooves? Well, I don't play with the, the U groove or the box groove or the square groove, whatever you want to call it. Uh, really, that was one of the reasons, Richard, that I qu really quit playing. I played for one year when they first came out, and I saw people with, I would say, a lack of talent or a lack of ability, and because of the box groove or the square groove, they were able to hit shots that their talent wouldn't allow them to do. Consequently, I think it's equalized the game too much. It has not protected the talent and the very talented player that needs to be protected. Um, I don't know technically, you know, if, if it's fair to pick on someone like Carson because I have a great respect for him because, uh, you know, he's done an awful lot for the game of golf. Uh, he's provided equipment that it's unparalleled in uh, quality control, and a lot of the other companies have learned from him. Uh, when you think that he controls 85% of the golf industry, it's easier for the other people to say, well, gee whiz, his clubs must be uh, unfair or whatever. But uh, I think there's a need to get back to the traditional aspect of the game and protect the talent and reward the ability that the players have and not equalize it with this type of technology. You'll never stop technology. I also think there's another issue that's going to take place here in the next four to five years, and I think it's the ball. The ball goes too far and doesn't curve as much. Now, that's technology again, but is it right? Does it, is it to the point where you're making it so, f so competitive or taking the competitive edge out because it, you're making everything so equal where the marginal player has a chance to beat the better player? That's my personal opinion. I think if we all get back to these uh, V-groove clubs and tougher uh, restrictions, I think you're going to see more dominance in certain players. And, and less periodity in, in the sport. Uh, I don't agree with it. I know that it, in, the, in the hands of a proven player, an excellent player, whether you're a low handicap amateur or you're a proven professional like myself or any of us that are out here this week, there's a definite advantage in playing with square grooves, almost to the point where you feel like it doesn't take any ability. All you have to do is swing the club and you know what that 70-yard swing is out of the rough, and the ball's going to go to 70 yards over the bunker, and it's going to stop. It isn't going to do that with a V-group. Now you have to manufacture, you have to rely on your technique and your expertise, and I don't think that's good for the game. Uh, it's I would a lot never, different than the metal woods. I mean, it's that much different. Metal woods don't bother me. I think uh, I've tried them. I'm a traditionalist. I, I think I hit the ball better as far with the, with the wood clubs. I think metal wood woods are not a strong enough impact uh, to say they shouldn't be allowed. Uh, but these uh, box screws or square grooves or whatever, I think when you've got the players that voted and, and you know, it takes a two-thirds majority vote by the tournament players and all their feelings, what I heard 82 percent or 85 percent voted to eliminate and get back to the V groove club, then that ought to tell you there's more than that that play both clubs, you know. Uh, that they really think that there should be a respect for the talents and the abilities out here and not an equalizer, and that's what we have.